Heparin is an anticoagulant drug used for prophylaxis or treatment of thromboembolic disorders and for surgical procedures like cardiopulmonary bypass. Heparin occurs naturally as a macromolecule complex with histamine in mast cells, where its physiologic role is unknown. Heparin is an anticoagulant of choice for treating pregnant women because they do not cross the placenta due to their large size and negative charge. Talking about the mechanism of action of heparin, this drug suppresses coagulation by enhancing the activity of antithrombin 3, which inhibits factor 10A and factor 2A and prevents the conversion of fibrinogen to fibrin. So in this way, heparin inhibits thrombus formation. Now let's talk about the pharmacokinetic of heparin. This drug must be administered subcutaneously or intravenously because the drug does not readily cross membranes. Heparin is often initiated as an intravenous bolus to achieve immediate anticoagulation. In the blood, heparin binds to many proteins that neutralize its activity, causing unpredictable pharmacokinetics. The half-life of heparin is approximately one and a half hours. The inactive metabolites, as well as some of the parent heparin, undergo renal excretion. Side effects of heparin include bleeding. Heparin-induced thrombocytopenia, hyperkalemia due to aldosterone suppression and osteoporosis with long-term use. Heparin is a high alert medication. Antidote for heparin-induced bleeding is protamine sulfate. Heparin is contraindicated in uncontrolled active bleeding or intracranial hemorrhage, severe thrombocytopenia, history of HIT and hypersensitivity to pork products. In the end, let's talk about some clinical pearls of heparin. It must be given in IV or subcutaneously only because intramuscular administration can cause hematoma. Do not drop site after injection because this can cause bruising. Monitor a PPTT activated partial thromboplastin time to guide heparin dosing. Always use total body weight for heparin dosing. Heparin is the most common cause of thrombocytopenia in a hospitalized patients. Also watch for drug-drug interactions with heparin. Drugs and herbs with antiplatelets, anticoagulants or thrombolytic properties can increase risk of bleedings. Drugs like ARBs and ACEIs and potassium sparing diuretics can cause risk of hyperkalemia. So that was all about clinical pharmacology of heparin. Hope you like this video. For more pharmacology pearls, keep sharing and keep supporting us. Thank you.